my dear students welcome to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more and more things to know in accounts and what is important and the previous question papers how to prepare and all please subscribe please my dear students actually today's topic is like subsidiary books okay the subdivision of journal the day book into eight parts based on the recurring transactions is called as subsidiary books so every day there will be purchases purchase returns sales sales returns will be there bills receivable and bills payable so based on these transactions the journal the day book is made into eight parts that is known as subsidiary books so there are some advantages in subsidiary books if you see the advantages the recurring transactions can be directly posted into these subsidiary books instead of writing journal entries whatever transactions you posted in subsidiary books are directly posted into ledger accounts if you see purchases book this book is used to record only credit purchase of goods no cash purchases are recorded and no purchase of assets will be recorded if you are a dealer in air coolers then purchase of air coolers will become the stock if you are not a dealer purchase of air cooler that will be treated as a asset my dear students here only credit transactions are recorded purchase returns book is used to record the goods which are returned to the suppliers with the help of the debit note sales book you know my dear students every day sales will be there the credit sale of goods will be recorded here keep in mind sale of assets and cash sales cannot be recorded similarly sales returns book is used to record sales returns with the help of credit note and there are three cash books simple cash book two column three column and petty cash book among this petty cash book is more important after three column cash book cash account is a real account then bills receivable and bills payable the debtors will give bills receivable which will be having due dates and all to record that we maintain bills receivable book and bills payable book we give bills payable to our creditors to record those payment due dates we prepare bills payable and journal proper if any entry which is not recorded in the above